Here in this video we shall list down the 20 biggest American movie monsters, which means no Japanese kaiju or others from other countries. There are pretty big ones on this list and many are familiar, but there are also very new entries. So let's dive into this list and let's do this thing. Number 20 Lizzie The smallest one on this list is the giant Lizzie which comes from the movie Rampage. Lizzie maintains the basic shape of a crocodile, but in addition to her gigantic size, Lizzie has developed two huge tusks from each side of her head and below the jaws as well. A pair of frills, countless large spikes on her back and a spike club on her tail, as well as gecko-like feet, and she was said to be over 200 feet long. Number 19, Zilla. Coming next is the American version of Godzilla which was not taken with warmness by the Japanese audience and so it became just Zilla, an American creation. Unlike the mainstream Godzilla which is erect in posture and has dorsal plates that resemble maple leaves, Zilla is hunched like a dinosaur and has a square jaw like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Moreover, the body shape, limbs and even dorsal plates are well unique and this monster was 200 feet tall and 3 times as long. Number 18 Behemoth This one is from the horror sci-fi movie The Mist of Stephen King and it was seen briefly but nonetheless it was breathtaking. The behemoth has six double jointed legs, each of them hundreds of feet tall, hundreds of multiple jointed appendages on its underside and tentacles above its head. The behemoth's size is estimated at over 240 feet, larger than anything that has ever lived on earth in that franchise and due to its immense size it was not hostile as nothing natural could harm it. Number 17, The Colossal Monster An odd addition to the list is Anne Hathaway's kaiju called Colossal which was funny and was also an avatar of the character that appears half a world away whenever she steps on a magical sandbox. It is a gigantic semi-humanoid reptilian creature with thick scaly brown skin. It has a short stumpy tail, elephant-like feet and humanoid hands. The creature's head is adorned with a crest with smaller horns jutting out. It was easily 250 to 300 feet tall or 25 stories in height. Number 16, the Mutos. All right, so even though they are in the same movie as Godzilla, which is a Japanese creation, the Mutos are uniquely American in design and origin. There are four types of Mutos, the smallest was the male one which was 200 feet tall, then there was the female and the queen Muto which were roughly 300 feet tall and lastly there was the Muto Prime which was bigger at more than 300 feet tall but maybe less than 350. Number 15 King Kong The giant ape, the first giant monster of the movie screens, comes on the 15th spot with the MonsterVerse incarnation of it. King Kong has had many adaptations and incarnations from the first one in 1933 which was roughly 20 feet tall to the Japanese King Kong vs Godzilla in which he stood 148 feet in height. In the newest MonsterVerse movie Godzilla vs Kong, the big ape got another upgrade in size and was now 337 feet tall. Number 14 MonsterVerse Titans On this next entry we decided to club in all the titans of the MonsterVerse as it will make room for other bigger monsters as well on this list. Of course there were smaller titans and sub titans, but the biggest which were unique designs of the MonsterVerse which makes them American creations and not kaijus of Japan were the behemoth, Scylla, Methuselah and others which comes in the range of anywhere between 300 to 400 feet in height. Number 13 The Kraken This one comes from the Clash of the Titans remake and it's called the Kraken. It is a big monster with tentacles that are large enough to be able to pull entire ships underwater and destroy cities with relative ease. The creature looks like a humanoid crustacean in design. In addition to tentacles, the creature was armed with a gaping mouth full of many sharp teeth and the creature's many tentacles afforded it great speed in swimming. This monster was easily over 400 feet tall. Number 12 The Mega Kaiju Coming in from the Pacific Rim universe with many monsters in it, we have decided to just put in a couple entries of uh, these kaijus. And this one is the mega kaiju from the second movie, Uprising. This monster of a monster was 500 feet tall as per the official statistics. 
and was an amalgamation of three other kaijus that were combined to defeat humanity and its army of Jaegers. It had two tails, an armored carapace, ten eyes, tusk, and a range of deadly features. Number 11. Cthulhu Although debatable in size, Cthulhu from the movie Underwater is massive and deserves the 11th spot. He is as large as a mountain, has a grotesque, vaguely humanoid upper body, and a head with an octopus-like characteristics. He has an elongated skull with four eyes, a chin covered with a beard of tentacles, and a jaw that displays many layers of fangs and teeth, and a lower jaw that appears to split in two. He has bone-like wings and appears to be over 500 feet long. Number 10. Slattern And yet another one from the Pacific Rim universe. This one is from the first movie and although there is a debate on which is bigger, official statistics show Sladen bigger than a Mega Kaiju. The largest and strongest of all the known Kaiju, Sladen is unrivaled by any of its brethren in battle. It has a hammer-like head, a tail that branches off into three prehensile smaller ones, and four legs, and he was 596 feet tall when standing upright. Number 9. The Mind Flayer not really from the movies, but from a show called Stranger Things, the Mind Flayer is said to be 50 stories tall or 600 feet in height. His body appears to be entirely composed of minuscule particles, giving him a misty appearance akin to that of a shadow. It is unknown if the Mind Flayer is entirely made of smoke or if there is any physical anatomy to the creature. The creature has multiple limbs, some of which branch into several small appendages. Number 8. Lyoth a very new entry to the cinematic universe, and this is from the MCU show Loki. Eliath is the name of a giant monster at the end of time. It appears to be a smoke monster much like the Mind Flayer and can also create limbs from its gaseous body. It has an amorphous shape, but a skull like a face, like that of a canine skull and fires inside its mouth and eyes. It was hard to determine the size but since it was able to match Asgard's palace, so it must be between 1000 and 1500 feet tall. Number 7. Kronos This next one is from the movie Wrath of the Titans and it is as big as a volcanic mountain and the very heart of ancient Greek mythology. Kronos is considered as usual as an evil god and a bad parent. He was locked in a place called Tartarus for thousands of years and once he broke out, we saw him as a volcanic entity whose body was composed of rock and lava. He was stated to be 500 meters or 1640 feet tall. Number 6. Dormammu Yet another one from the MCU, this monster is an interdimensional entity called Dormammu which was seen in the movie Doctor Strange. It was kind of hard to determine Dormammu's size uh, since his entire body wasn't seen but by extrapolating a humanoid design with the face that appeared in the movie killing Doctor Strange, this monster from the dark dimension would have been between 1000 to 2000 feet tall. Number 5. The Exegoth Finally, an entry from Star Wars and it takes the 5th spot on this list of the 20 American monsters. Space locks or exogods reach full maturity at 10 meters and reproduce by splitting into two smaller separate bodies. And if the space lock was incapable of this process, its growth continues uninterrupted, potentially reaching lengths of 900 meters or 3000 feet long. The species existed for billions of years as the one seen in Star Wars was at least a billion years old itself. Number 4. Surtur Yet again from the MCU, this giant fire demon was the antagonist of the movie Thor Ragnarok and was tall as a mountain in the final scenes. It was maybe a kilometre tall or 3200 feet in height. Surtur was one of the most powerful beings in the cosmos, capable even in his weakened state of nearly overpowering Thor. And after being resurrected by the eternal flame, Surtur's powers were immeasurably increased as he was finally able to bring Ragnarok to Asgard and destroy the entire place. Number 3. Parallax So, if we have a couple from the Marvel Universe, of course, one will come from the DC Universe and this is Parallax of the movie Green Lantern. This amorphous entity was the embodiment of fear in the universe and when it was released from its prison, Parallax went on to consume worlds and in the process increasing in size up to a point where it was between 2 to 3 kilometers in size when it reached Earth or between 7000 to 10,000 feet across. Number 2. The Summer Verminoth Another Star Wars monster, this giant tentacle beast, the space monster, is the Kessel Run creature also known as the Summer Verminoth. It was seen in Solo A Star Wars Story and it takes the second spot. This creature had a jellyfish-like body and was also similar to squids and octopus. 
Its long tentacles made it one of the biggest in the Star Wars universe. At around 7,432 meters or 24,000 feet long, it was however killed when it was sucked down the black hole. And number 1, the Cloverfield Monster. And finally, the number 1 spot goes to none other than the Cloverfield Paradox movie monster or simply known as Clover. It first appeared in the first Cloverfield movie as a baby but still it was 300 feet tall. And in, in the end scenes of the third movie, it was seen towering over the clouds which would put it anywhere between 5 to 8 kilometers tall or 16,000 to 24,000 feet in height, cementing him on the number one spot of the biggest American movie monsters. And so with that we come to the end of the video of the biggest American movie monsters, so do click that like button for support and subscribe if you haven't. Do check out our other videos as well. And finally, smash that bell button like the hot smashes thing puny button for regular updates on new monster videos right here on MindQ. Till the next one, take care fam.